Hello everyone and welcome to day 17 of Marian's 31 day challenge. Today as promised I'm going to start some flower tutorials and I have to warn you that I have just started making flowers and my inspiration came from Logan's Crafty Mama's mama, Barbara. Um, she showed on one of Carol Ann's videos right after Christmas how to make some beautiful flowers and so that really inspired me to start making some flowers of my own. And so today I'm going to start with a very basic flower and here is one example. I have a couple more that I will be showing you. And to me this reminds me of a daisy um, but I did do them in colors other than white and then what I did for the center of this one is I just took a very thin strip it's about a fourth of an inch and I just wrapped it around um, in a spiral shape closed it off with a glue dot and then adhered it to my flower with a glue dot and I guess I would have done it differently now that I start looking at it. Um, this is pretty flimsy here in the middle, so I would probably use some, you know, um, wet glue and then adhere the whole thing down. That way it doesn't move around so much. But as you create, you learn, right? So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start with a three inch circle. That is. Um, three out of the four examples that I'm going to show you, they were made out of the three inch circles. Um, I did try one out of a four inch circle, or I'm sorry, a two inch circle. I went down in size. Um, so I will show you those examples. But here's how I did mine. Um, I used my Martha Stewart circle cutter to create this circle, but you could use your there's a the circle cutter. You can use your um, Cricut, you can use whatever you have um, to cut circles. But to find my center point, what I did is I lined my ruler up and made a mark at one and a half. And then I lined my ruler up going the opposite direction on that one and a half mark and scored it at one and a half again and that's how I found my center point. <clears throat> so there is my little mark in the center. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. So then using that center mark you're going to line up your ruler and make dashed lines And these are one inch lines, so on either side of that center point. And then I just rotate my circle, <coughs> again lining it up, and going down on either side at one inch. Rotate it again, and you're going to make a total of eight lines. And there you go. There's the eight lines going around the circle and then you're going to go ahead and cut along those. Stopping exactly where they stop. And of course not all of them will be evenly spaced, but that's what I like about this flower. It's just kind of rustic looking. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want it to be perfect, um, I guess you could go through and measure it all, but I didn't mind it so much not being perfect. <clears throat> and then you're going to go ahead and fold up each petal. And depending on the look you're going for, you'll want to, you know, give it a soft or a harder crease. 
I'm going to go around the whole circle doing that. And then you're going to go ahead and repeat that process with a second circle. And I'm going to back up just a little bit. And just to save time, I've already gone ahead and done my second circle. So then you'll flip your circle over and use some kind of adhesive. And I'm just using the Multi Tombow liquid glue. And you're going to put that in the center. Mine's about up. I need to get some more. And then put the other one staggering the petals right on top. And you want to have you're going to have to kind of play around with it to get those petals really staggered and maybe twist it in a different way. There you go. There is your flower. And you can keep it pointed down. You can point up the petals. It really varies. You can, you know, point one up and point one down. Just whatever you feel looks best on your project. And then for the center, your choices are endless. Um, for most of mine, I did um, buttons, so that's what I'm going to do for this one as well. I just got um, these buttons in the dollar section of Michael's, and I chose the biggest one out of that container. And I'm just going to use a couple of, I just have the mini glue dots, um, but if you have the regular size ones, you just need one. But just a couple of those to adhere that to the center. You could also thread through some embroidery floss or some twine or some hemp cord would look cute in there. You could also um, ink around the edges of these flowers. I didn't do that for any of my samples, but you surely could do that. So there is the completed flower. And I'll go ahead and show you a couple more. Here's the one that I showed you at the beginning. And then here is another one. And this is kind of a sunflower looking um, example because I used the brown button in the center. And then this one has got to be one of my favorites. What I did is I used some decorative scissors um, by EK Success, and it's just the zigzag ones, and I went around each petal with the zigzag, and that just gave it an entirely different look. And then for this one, this one I used two two-inch circles, so it is quite a bit of difference, and you could actually make the two inch ones and then stick it in the center, and then I would add even more to your flower. And this one I put a little bit of bling in the center. So there is the flower tutorial for today, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow, day 18. Have a great day! Bye!